7.4. Uh, the book calls this fact remainder theorem. We aren't exactly going to use that theorem. We're really just going to find all the factors of a polynomial. So I'm going to start you off with this example. Find all factors for x cubed plus x squared minus 16x minus 16. You are giving, you're given one of your factors, x plus 4. Okay, so maybe a way to set this or start it off is somewhere off to the side, make a list of all your factors, okay? And I'm going to have three of them because it's a degree of three. Um, it means three solutions, three factors. So I'm going to start out with, with x plus four. It's, it's one of my factors. It was given to me. That means I'm going to have to find two more. Okay. So the way we can do this is to find one of the factors we do know. Or I'm, I'm sorry, do, do synthetic division using the one factor we do know. So I'm not sure why I'm getting the calculator out. We don't really need a calculator for synthetic division. Um, what I need to do, if I'm going to divide the polynomial by the factor I do have, I need to take that x plus 4, set it equal to 0, and, uh, and get what would be the solution. We'll, we'll find the solution in the next lesson. Uh, but that's what you have to put in the box when you do synthetic division, the negative 4. All right, bring down your coefficients, 1, 1, negative 16, negative 16, and do your synthetic division. So 1, multiply, get negative 4. Add those, multiply, add, multiply. Remainder always needs to go in a box. Okay. So thing you divided by remainder. That's your two boxes. All right, we started with x cubed. We divided out one power of x, so our answer is going to be x squared. 1x squared minus 3x minus 4. Okay. So we've, we've gotten, gotten down to this part now. Um, we need to find factors, remember? So we've got one factor. If you're finding factors, then probably the best method is to use factoring. So let's take this tr trinomial we have and let's find some factors. So give me some factors of negative 4 that would make negative 3. Well, probably negative 4 and 1. Those multiply back negative 1. Add to make negative 3. So x minus 4 and x plus 1 would be your factors. Okay, So finish it up. Those are the factors I got, so put them up here. And that's it. I found all the factors. Okay. You could always FOIL these back out, do uh, the first two first, and then FOIL that answer with the x plus 1. And if it comes out to the trinomial to start it with, then you got it. Uh, you could probably just type this in Wolfram if you're doing the homework. Say factor and type that in, and it'll probably give you a list of all these. Okay, so that's how you do it. That's it. All right, let's try another example. Find all the factors of 2x cubed plus 7x squared minus 53x minus 28, given that 2x plus 1 is a factor. All right, so... Somewhere off to the side, I'm going to make a list of factors because I'm, I know I'm going to have a few here. So this is where my answer will go. I'm going to have a few factors. Uh, I do know I'm going to have three because the degree is three here. So three factors. Uh, I do know 2x plus 1 is the first one because they gave it to me. So I'll need to get two more. Okay. Uh, factors, it's, I always put them in parentheses because we always end up multiplying factors together. If you keep putting them in parentheses, it'll probably help you remember what a factor is. All right, so you're given one factor. Let's set it equal to zero and, and solve it so we can do our synthetic division. Okay, so negative one-half will go in the box. We try to keep the original polynomial here. So we are dividing the polynomial by uh, 2x plus 1. We're going to do it through synthetic division. Put your coefficients down. 2, 7, negative 53, negative 28. Okay. All right. Bring down the 2. 
Multiply it by negative a half, that gives you negative one. Seven minus one is six. Six times negative a half is negative three. Add those, you get negative 56. And half of 56 would be 28. A negative and a positive, so positive 28. You can use a calculator if you're not able to keep up with that, but uh, you, you do want to make sure you know how to multiply fractions together. You, you will eventually need to be able to do that without a calculator. And one thing you've got to be careful of here is since we used a fraction, we have to divide everything down here by that 2 that was on the bottom. Anytime you have a divide by a fraction, uh, you, you do have to divide by that bottom number. So we get 1, 3, and negative 28. We started with x cubed, so this is 1x squared plus 3x minus 28. All right, and remember our goal. We've done a lot of work now, so you have to remember what your goal was. Your goal was to factor, so now we need to factor this down. So I'm out of room on this page. I'm going to come over here to the side. Uh, I'm going to need factors of negative 28 that add to 3. So let's see what we can get. Let's try maybe 7 and 4. Uh, 4 would have to be negative, so that they multiply to make negative 28, but they would add to make positive 3. Okay, so my other factors, that tells me x plus 7 and x minus 4 are my other factors. Okay, so there we go. Let's put that up here in the box and we're done. So the hardest thing you got to do here is synthetic division. Make sure you do it right. Um, this is my final answer right here. Those are my three factors. So do synthetic division right, do your factoring right. So.